Beginning of 2019, I was really into bodybuilding, and then I wasn't fit anymore. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't walk around. I couldn't run. I started to give up on myself. I really hated myself. Hello, <laughs> my name is Ali. Uh, I'm from the United States and I've lived in Korea since high school. I love being in Korea because everything is so convenient. Like the transportation is really easy to use and the delivery food and the food is really good. And speaking of food, I started eating healthy a couple years ago. I was researching online different supplements that I could take and my friend recommended to me the Jungkwan Jung Ginseng and I started taking it for my immunity and for my health and since then um, I've made it a part of my life. Beginning of 2019, and that was my um, like my big year. I was really into bodybuilding, and I was really happy. I was working out like twice a day, and really, this was my passion. This was something that I really loved, and I wanted to pursue. And it was something that I wanted to su succeed in. I was trying to find my purpose, I guess, and I thought that was it. And so I got really into bodybuilding, and weightlifting, and CrossFit, and fitness, and everything involved in that. Two feet are different lengths like this because my foot stopped growing. And so because of that, this entire ankle is very inflamed and tight. Most doctors said there's nothing you can do and they don't know what's wrong. And uh, some of them said it's just the way you're built. You're born this way. There's no, no real cause. I started to give up on myself because all of me was fit girl. And then I wasn't fit anymore. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't walk around. I couldn't run. And I kept going to therapy and they were like, well, why don't you just take a break or find something else? I'm like, no, I can't. It's impossible. That's something that I have to do for my whole life. And I really hated myself. I thought I was a failure. And I need to take a break. When I was in 2019, I would always think back to 2018. Like, why was I so happy at that moment? Why was I so fine? <laughs> Now I have a lot more Korean friends and I've adjusted a lot to the lifestyle here. And so uh, last year, 2020, I decided I wanted to start a business. It took me about a year to, to develop the, the skills to do that. Because I lost my identity at that time, I had to rebuild my skills, rebuild who I was and who I thought I was. I'm making a book, a children's book, and it's kind of a special thing. It's not really just a story. <laughs> There's something about being like a superhero in their eyes that gives you kind of strength to be a role model for them. So it's kind of like reliving your childhood, they say it is when you have kids. Um, so it's easy to be silly and be more energetic because you have to be more energetic when you talk to kids. I'm not going to build this giant corporation, of course not, I mean, like, I'm just selling a product. But, but I do think that symbol of giving back in the right way, not just some random volunteer or organization, you have to really research on that because people are very wary of that kind of thing. And so I want to build something that you know, helps society. Now that I've finally overcome the hardship that I went through a couple years ago, I realize I can only achieve my goals when my body and my mind are in top shape. So, in the next few years, I hope that I can become the person that I'm trying every day to become and wish me luck. <laughs>